What's going on you all? Coach Reese here, Prophletics Boxing and Capoeira, getting ready to bring you three easy steps in order to improve your footwork in boxing so you can get around your opponents and be nice and light on those feet. Let's get right into it. As mentioned previously, the objective is to do what? Stay on your feet as light as possible. So the first and most important tool in my opinion is the jump rope. So all you wanna do is get you a jump rope and learn how to rhythmically jump rope right there. You don't wanna jump straight up and down because that's bad on your knees. See if you can shift your weight on your feet side to side. So you wanna generally do three rounds, maybe three rounds of three minutes and take a minute break in between until you develop some rhythm and you can stay light on those feet. The second tool that I'm gonna give you is the ladders. With the ladders, they improve your agility by making sure that you're able to move in and out on your feet, staying light on your feet, and also make sure that you're light on your toes the entire time. There are plenty of variations you can use, so I'll just give you a couple real quick. One of my favorites are jumping jacks, where both of your feet are going in and out of the squares, and you're staying up on your toes and not letting your heels touch the ground. Another one of my favorite is single leg in and outs. Make sure that you're going in and out of each square, trying to stay on the ball of your foot the entire time. Go down with one leg, and when you come back, alternate with the other leg. The third and final tool is nothing more than the rhythm bounce or rhythm step. So you get in your boxing guard in your boxing position and you bounce back and forth on your toes, right here. You've seen the greats do it, you've seen Muhammad Ali do it, and you see Dimitri Bivol currently do it. You bounce back and forth on those toes, a lot of the Soviets do it, right? Make sure that you don't lean over your front leg or lean over your back leg. You wanna make sure that your torso is centered so you don't fatigue your legs. And when you get more advanced, you can start working on angles on the lead leg. So if I'm going straight forward and back now, I can take it right, back, middle, back, left, back, middle. So I can start creating those angles that you see people like Lomachenko do, boom, just by that simple little rhythm bounce or rhythm step. Now, I already know what a lot of you might be thinking. Coach, those are too easy. But believe me when I tell you that simplicity wins the fights, okay? Not this fancy stuff that you see on Instagram with these 7 to 13 second highlight clips of somebody doing some fancy tricky move. Listen, people get knocked out by the basics. People get knocked out by the basics. Basics. Stick to your basics, okay? People always get slept because they don't master the basics. They think that they're too cool and too advanced to do basics and they see something on Instagram, some little fancy seven to 13 second clip of somebody doing some type of trickery. Forget all of that. Go back to your basics, master your basics and drill, drill, drill your basics until you're tired of doing them and then drill them some more, all right? Make sure you're doing about three, three minute rounds at minimum three three minute rounds with a minute break and master your basics that's it for today i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you like subscribe share and also send some feedback on other videos that you may want to see so hope you have a good one